This is despite the controversy surrounding the Duke of Edinburgh's crash last week, where he had also gone without a belt. It follows on from the Queen being pictured without the safety measure a day after the crash last Friday and also when she was driven to church with Prince Andrew by a chauffeur in a black Bentley last Sunday. Police have spoken to the Duke after he was pictured driving a new Land Rover alone and without a belt just 48 hours after his crash. The Duke of Edinburgh could be sent on an awareness course to improve his driving skills, Norfolk police have confirmed. He could also face a £5,000 fine and nine points on his license should he be found at fault for the crash that left a woman, 28, with knee injuries and Emma Fairweather, 45, with a broken wrist. The Queen was joined by Sir Jackie Stewart at the Sunday service at St Mary Magdalene Church after hosting a royal shooting party on Friday. Racing legend Sir Jackie is believed to be staying with the royal family in Norfolk. Sir Jackie Stewart is well known for being a keen marksman. The 79 year old competed in shooting competitions in the UK and abroad and was a prize-winning member of the Scottish Clay Pigeon shooting team. The former F1 racing driver enlisted Princess Anne to write the foreword for his biography, and his wife Helen is godmother to Zara Tyndall, the Queen's granddaughter. Princess Anne and her husband were also at the royal shoot on Friday. The Queen's time in Norfolk is coming to an end and she is expected to return to Buckingham Palace in the first week of February. On February 6 she will mark the 67th anniversary of her accession to the throne. This is usually done on her Norfolk estate. She became queen on February 6, 1952 on the death of her father King George VI and is the longest reigning monarch in British